What is going on, you stark raving lunatics? We're going to try to take you through the news right now for Luna Classic. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified. Uh, a lot going on. Not nothing. Ex ex you'll see. Um, again, make sure you hit that like button on the way in, though. Uh, so first of all, uh, Duke Kwan is going to miss the start of the SEC trial uh, for fraud charges. I don't know why. It seems a little bit uh, wild that he's going to miss the start of the trial, but... Uh, this is, um, um, I guess this is the nature of it right now. Uh, but he will be in the United States. He has been extra. There is an extradition going on, uh, but he's going to miss the start of the March 25th trial, but he will end up eventually being there. Uh, also, uh, looks like most people investigating kind of came up with the breakout that, uh, the core upgrades, uh, were the reasons for the jumps. I would venture to say that was not the case. I would say that it was more likely, uh, the conversation and the approval of the 800 million burn. Uh, by the way, it looks to me like if you go to USTC right here, uh, you can see there's already 800 million out of the circulating supply. Uh, now it's not out of the circulating supply. So now we have an exact amount here. Uh, so you might, uh, in fact, be able to see a big surge when that 800 million is executed and it actually comes out of the circulating supply. Uh, so perfect opportunity right there uh, to see that and visualize that pump. Uh, in fact, we might be seeing it right now, but because that, because uh, that was an error, by the way, uh, that error has been fixed. The circulating and total supply are basically the same now, except for what's being burned. So when that thing gets burned, then you're going to see that factor in here quite a bit, which might explain why we had such a nice big move yesterday <clears throat> and continued buying pressure, but no big pump. So uh, keep that in mind. Also in the uh, uh, in the community tab here, uh, we've got quarterly reviews of tax policies, which we should be discussing that all of the time. Uh, code of practice for L1 developers. If it makes uh, uh, if it makes station, then we'll start talking about it there. Uh, then we have um, uh, re return power to the look. There's a lot of uh, bantering back and forth that we'll talk about at some point uh, when they start becoming uh, rules or policies for governance. Uh, but a lot of things that people are looking at then price action wise uh, sideways kind of this is the five minute chart. I was kind of watching it on a lower time frame uh, to see how things were playing out. But as you can see right here, we just did a test of the 20. It looks like we're failing on the 20. So you could expect maybe a retracement down to 12.9 and then a bump off of the 12.9 or perhaps this 20 MA. Uh, we'll get the uh, we'll get that wick eaten back up and we'll be back on our way now. Yeah, the markets had been pumping up until just the last few minutes, still pumped for the day, greatly pumped for the day. But the U.S. markets are starting to wake up and the uh, European markets are starting their profit taking. So uh, uh, it's starting to retrace just a little bit on the overalls uh, on the USTC side. Again, I mean, I don't see any fundamental reason why this thing should continue pumping, uh, but it's doing it. So <laughs> let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, and, you know, in fairness, this is. Uh, doing the same thing. Uh, it, it's already broke the 50 and the 20, though. So it could be a retest down here at uh, 3.4 cents. But with that burn in place, it should be a very interesting time. Uh, we might see a little positivity coming out of that after all. So you might see a wild swing in your price action and a big green candle coming one more time. So, but we'll see. We'll we'll see what happens. It's a 10% lift uh, in one fell swoop with eight uh, 800 million out of eight something billion. So it's about a 10% 10 10 lift. So at 35, I mean, you're looking at uh, just a quick move up to like 38 range. So you see this like a little green candle right here. People start getting FOMO because they see it. Uh, then over here, you've got the governance for um, uh, the, the upgrade proposal. And here, if you want to go read, you can read all of it so far. 99% voted in favor, but it is not passing. Hasn't reached quorum yet. So uh, we'll see how that plays out. But so far, uh, it's been fairly positive. Always read through these because nestled in here tends to be a request for money and stuff like that. So make sure you know what you're paying for uh, and whether or not it meets something that you would like to see done. Uh, then for overall price down 27%, but the market kept up a little bit. You don't need a lot of flow in order to 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 pump the price. Uh, when it gets a lot of it, that's what it tends to get pretty volatile. But um, 61 million for USTC, down about 70% on the day, 320 million market cap. So uh, when this burn happens, when it's all said and done, we should see some kind of exciting pump or price action. And uh, if that's the case, then cool stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, as that happens, we'll let you know. It's not financial advice. 
What's going on, everybody? From now until the 26th, Cryptonomy.finance is doing a drawing and hosting a giveaway. Make sure that you participate because this could be massive. You can also follow them on Telegram. Links in the description below and on X. The description is also in the link down below. Also, make sure that you guys understand that I have done a fantastic job so far. You can see what I've done. So th this, by the way, this is not cash out until November 21, but so far my accrued interest is 61,820. And let me point out here what I'm doing here. This is the launch pool. This is the big uh, launch pool that I keep telling you guys about. And here's the thing. You see tokens that I talk to you about. You see stuff like Dev E. Uh, you see stuff like DeFi. You see real tokens, Ruby Protocol, that are, are getting vector protocol. These are things that we've discussed on this channel where these things have started to blow up and they've started to have uh, these, these, these big um, uh, moves and take advantage of it while the opportunity presents itself. And remember uh, to get in, you have until February 